Let's assume that we are going to issue a bond, sell a bond in year 2019, and then it will mature in 2022. So this means that here, how many years do we have till maturity? So we have three years to maturity. It will mature in year 2022, which is, will be year zero. From year 20 to 21, it will be one period. From 2020 to 2022, it will be two periods. From 2019 till 2022, it will be three periods. I know that at maturity, the bond price will be equal to face value. So what will happen to the bond price of a premium bond over time? I know that with a premium bond, our bond price is bigger than face value, and that's why I will draw it here higher than face value. Therefore, I know that for a premium bond, over time, it must reach face value at maturity. Therefore, what will happen to the bond price over time? It will keep decreasing, decreasing, decreasing until we reach face value at maturity. And that's why we can use our logic to know this one. What about a discount bond? I know that a discount bond has a bond price below face value, and that's why I draw it below it. Consequently, what will happen to the bond price over time until it reaches maturity? I know that at maturity it must be equal to face value. Therefore, the discount bond price will keep decreasing, decreasing, decreasing until we reach face value at maturity. What about a bar bond? I know that for a bar bond, bond price is equal to face value. Therefore, for a bar bond, bond price will remain constant every year, which is equal to face value. And this is based on the logic. We can prove it mathematically by numbers. So let's start with a premium bond. Let's assume that here we have 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. We have face value, which is the same 100. We have maturity M. In 2019, we have three years to maturity. In 2020, we have two years to maturity. In 2021, we have one year to maturity. In 2022, it will mature, which means N will be zero. Therefore, the only difference here will be maturity, which is N. Then we have the coupon rate. It's the same 10% every year. We have yield maturity, we'll assume it's constant, which is 8% every year. Then, what will be our coupon payment? The coupon payment is our coupon rate times face value. Coupon rate and face value is always constant every year. Therefore, it will be equal to 10% times 100, it will be 10. So it will be 10 every year. Then we need to calculate the bond price. What is the formula of bond price? This is the present value of coupon payment plus the present value of face value. Therefore, the present value of coupon payment will be coupon multiplied by open bracket 1 minus, open bracket, 1 plus yield to maturity, close bracket to the power, negative m, don't forget the negative sign, close bracket divided by yield to maturity, plus face value multiplied by open bracket, 1 plus yield to maturity, close bracket to the power, negative m, don't forget the negative sign. So let's calculate the bond price for year 2019. We have a coupon of 10 multiplied by open first bracket, 1 minus, open second bracket, 1 plus yield to maturity of 8% to the power, negative 3, close bracket divided by yield to maturity of 8% plus face value of 100 multiplied by open bracket 1 plus yield to maturity of 8% close bracket to the power negative 3. This will give us 105.15. Then we need to calculate the bond price in year 2020. The only difference will be n. I will change n from 3 to be 2. Then it will give me a bond price of 103.57. Then what will be the bond price in 2021? I will use exactly the same formula and I will change N. And instead of being two, I will make it one. So this will give me a bond of price of 101.85. Then what will be our bond price in 2022? I will change N from being one to be zero. Therefore, this will give me a bond price of 100. So let's make a comparison between M and bond price, assuming all other variables are constant. So as maturity decreases, as we move towards maturity, what will happen to the bond price for a premium bond? It will keep decreasing. Therefore, we could say that the premium bond price will decrease every year until it reaches face value at maturity. We can draw it graphically here. For a premium bond, we have year 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022, the M, so it will mature in 2022, so it will be zero. From year 2021 to move to 2022, it will be one year. To move from year 2020 to 2022, it will be two years. To move from year 2019 to 2022, it will be three years. Therefore, the bond price in year three is 105.15. The bond price in year two is 103.57. The bond price in year one is 101.85. The bond price in 2022 is 
100. Therefore, the bond price of a premium bond will decrease every year until we reach face value at maturity. Let's apply the same concept for a bar bond. We have the same number of years, which is 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. We have the same face value, which is 100. We have maturity, three years in 2019, two years in 2020, one year in 2021, zero, which means it will mature in year 2022. Therefore, the only difference here, it will be maturity that will change every year. Coupon rate is 10%. And I will have yield to maturity equal to 10% because I know that for bar bond, coupon rate must be equal to yield to maturity. So it will be 10% every year. So let's calculate the coupon payment. You already know the formula of coupon payment. We use it many times. It's coupon rate times phase value. I know that every year we have the same phase value and the same coupon rate. So it will be 10% times 100. It will give us 10 million every year. Let's calculate the bond price formula. The bond price formula is the present value of coupons plus present value of phase value. So here in this formula, we will use the bond price in year 2019. We have a coupon of 10 multiplied by open bracket, one minus open second bracket, one plus yield to maturity of 10%, close bracket to the power negative n, which is three, close bracket divided by yield to maturity of 10%, plus face value of 100 multiplied by open bracket, one plus yield to maturity of 10%, close bracket to the power negative three, it will give us 100. So we use the formula and we got 100, or we can use the relationship I know that for bar bond all the time bond price is equal to face value since face value is 100 so bond price will be 100. So what will be the bond price in year 2020? I will change n from 3 to b2. So when we change n from 3 to b2 we will get also 100. Why? Because this is a bar bond. Bar bond it means bond price must be equal to face value. What about year 2021? A change n to b1. So when we change n to b1 we will get bond price equal to 100. Why? Because I know that for bar bond bond price must be equal to phase value. And the same for year 2022, we can use a formula and we'll put n equal to zero and we'll get 100. Or we could say that for bar bond, I know that bond price must be equal to phase value. So let's make a comparison between maturity and bond price. As maturity decreases, as we move towards maturity, what happened to the bond price? Bond price remains constant at phase value. Therefore, if we'd like to draw it graphically, for a bar bond, here we have 2019, 2020, 2021 and 2022. So the bond is issued in 2019. The bond will mature in 2020. So what will be our M? I know that it will mature in 2022, so it will be zero. To move from 2021 to 2022, it will be one year. To move from 2020 to 2022, it's two years. To move from 2019 to 2022, it's three years. Therefore, in year 2019, the bond price is 100. In year 2020, the bond price is 100. In year 2021, the bond price is 100. In year 2022, is 100. Therefore, the bond price of a bar bond is always constant at 100, which is equal to face value every year until it reaches maturity. Then let's get our third scenario, which is a discount bond. So we have years 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. Face value is the same 100 every year. Maturity M, in 2019 it's three years, in 2020 it's two years because time decreases until we reaches maturity. In 2021 it's one year, in 2022 it's zero. So maturity is the only difference among all years. Then we have coupon rate is 10% every year. We have yield to maturity of 12% because we know that for discount bond, coupon rate is lower than yield to maturity. Therefore yield to maturity will be higher than coupon rate and it will be the same every year. Let's calculate the coupon payment. Coupon payment is coupon rate times phase value. For all years, we have the same coupon rate and the same phase value. So it will be 10% times 100 will give us 10. Then let's calculate the bond price formula. So the bond price formula is the present value of coupons plus present value of phase value. Therefore, let's substitute in this formula for bond price. So let's calculate the bond price in 2019. It's equal to a coupon of 10 multiplied by open bracket one minus open second bracket one plus yield to maturity of 12 percent close bracket to the power negative n which is three close bracket divided by yield to maturity of 12 percent plus phase value of 100 multiplied by one plus yield to maturity of 12 percent close bracket to the power negative three this will give us 95.20 then let's calculate the bond price in year 2020 we will use exactly the same formula the only change will be n i'll change n from three to two 
So this will give us a bond price of 96.62. Then we need to calculate the bond price in year 2021. So this means that we need to change N from 2 to B1. This will give us 98.21. Then we need to calculate the bond price in year 2022. So I need to change N from 1 to B0. This will give us a bond price of 100. So let's make a comparison between maturity and bond price. We discover that as maturity decreases from 3 to 1, 0, our bond price increases from 95.20 to 96.62 to 98.21 to 100. So if we'd like to draw graphically, here we have the bond issued in 2019, then we have 2020, 2021, it will mature in year 2022. Therefore, since it will mature in year 2022, so it will be times zero. To move from year 2021 to 2022, we have one year to maturity. To move from year 2020 to year 2022, we have two years to maturity. To move from year 2019 to year 2022, we have three years to maturity. I know that the bond price in year 2019 at n equals three is 95.2. I know that the bond price in year 2020 at n equal 2 is 96.62. I know that the bond price in year 2021 at n equal 1 is 98.21. I know that the bond price in year 2022 at n equal 0 is 100. So what will happen to the bond price of its current bond every year until it reaches maturity? It will keep decreasing, decreasing, decreasing until it reaches face value at maturity.